White Sox hosting the Angels, and the White Sox are minus 145. On the money line, the Angels are plus 120. The over-under, eight and a half runs. The Angels getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the White Sox laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. The head-to-head, the road team is 6-4. and four. The Angels have won the last two games they've played against each other. The Angels are 7-3 and three against the White Sox in their last 10. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10, and the under 8.5 runs is 6-4 and four in their last 10 as well. The wind is blowing in from left center at 8.1 miles per hour. So if you get a lot of righties and a lot of pull hitters, it may affect, you know, potential home runs or fly balls. Now, Anderson was with the Dodgers last year. He did pitch once against the White Sox. Three innings, four runs, four earned. They won that game 11-9 in Chicago. Giolito pitched twice against the Angels last year. Six innings, three runs, three earned. They lost 5-1 in Chicago. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They lost 4-3 in L.A. The Angels are 6-3 and three as a team with Anderson on the mound. They've won his last four starts. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 3.3 strikeouts per game in those games. The White Sox are 3-7 and seven as a team with Giolito on the mound. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 5.8 strikeouts per game in those games. So a batter an inning. And he's another one of these guys today that are on the cusp, depending upon what they put the K line at, of whether you want to bet over or under. The last game they played against each other, the Angels won 6-4, which was yesterday. The game before that, the Angels won 4-1. The game before that, the White Sox won 11-4. And the game before that, the Angels won 4-3. And their last handful of games overall, the Angels are 1-3 in their last 4 and 6-4 and in their last 10. 8 runs, 13 runs, 2 runs, and 10 runs. 2 runs and a loss, 5 runs and a loss, shutout and a loss, 6 runs and a win. The White Sox have dropped their last three games. They are 1-3 and three in their last four and 5-5 five and five in their last 10. 15 runs, 10 runs, 11 runs, 10 runs. 12 runs and a win, 3 runs and a loss, 5 runs and a loss, 4 runs and a loss. Angels seem to own the White Sox. I'm going to take the Angels with the money line. I'm going to take the Angels laying the runs. And I'm kind of on the fence with the over-under, but I'm going to go under in this one. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet respect.